It's very important that when you guys are doing any form of a submission, you understand the anatomy of that submission. And you understand why it's working, so you're not guessing. You have to understand the arm breaks opposite way of the thumb, right here. Thumb is pointed that way, arm breaks this way. If it's this way, it breaks this way. If it's this way, it breaks that way, okay? If it's a choke, you need to understand it's gotta be choking the carotid artery, stopping the blood flow. If it's like down here, it's a wind choke, it's not gonna work as effectively. And you're gonna think, oh, it should be, but it's not because you don't understand the anatomy of the choke, the anatomy of the submission, the anatomy of a foot lock, and the anatomy of a, of a knee bar. Any submission, you have to understand why it's working. So let's just explore it. Why this is working. We're just starting here, okay? This works because this strap is not gonna break if I properly feed it to this arm. I wanna be able to chop his arm right here and have no slack so he can't pull it as I pull him in and this comes across. I want him to struggle to fight for this arm that, and this one hand grip is incredibly effective because this is the strap, it's not gonna break. If I have this, you can easily pull that arm out. There's no way I can hold it. When I have this strap right here, I over-rotate it and I pin it here, even right there. I go thumb down and I roll it right in that elbow so that my elbow can close so this hand is over, okay? And I'm just gonna keep it over and break in his posture. He'll probably want to posture, and I have all this left over to use how I need to, okay? My left hand moves to the shoulder, and that hip to the right, so that my hip can go to the right, okay? My left foot goes on the on this hip, and I turn it, and I'm tilting him. This hand right here, by itself, controls his arm. This is free. I'd rather push his head than to hold the wrist, because he can't pull the arm out. Pull the arm out, okay? This is key. Not this, not this, not this, not this. This, so it's all engaged. So your hips are engaged, and you lift it, his arm lifts up. So this finishes his arm right here. Even here you have an arm lock right here. But this right here is controlling his arm. The reason why most arm locks are very difficult to finish from the guard is because you're doing this. And as you do this, they pull it out and you get past. If you're lucky, maybe you get a triangle, but you need to be able to switch in on from there. But this right here saves you. He's, he's, he's posted, and you're pulling him in with the legs from here. Chop, and I'm gonna bring him down and put him in. And right here, it's an arm drag. I can drag his arm this way, he'll probably pull it that way. You have the head. You can step on his hip. You miss it here, like maybe it's harder because the legs. Get the hip and leg over the head. Not over the shoulder, he can start stacking. Over the head, right here. Whip, can you, can you stack him? Is his leg against the neck? You want to take him over? Just keep driving it down and you should go down. I still have this lapel right here. Look, and his arm is fairly straight. Even if you were to bend it, yeah, I still have the arm straight. But you have to have this strap right here. Because imagine this. You cut it like this. You have a bow and arrow. Yeah. Off of the same thing. We'll try to get to it. Yeah. What I just want you guys to do is get a proper control. You guys do a good job, but I see it's too slight. You enjoy here. 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 Clear on. It, it, it won't even work. It's like you trying to chuck on the gifts. You didn't even need to do that. It's just not going to work. Now, this potentially will work, okay? but I'm here. I'm like, hey, look, it's around his neck, but, right? you know, just this here. Yeah, I'm holding this, and he can pull this out. That's it. Now, if you wanted to worm have him, okay, that's a different story. But here, look, out, chop, legs, pull him in, and break that arm right there. Not break it, but meaning break his posture. Push this arm across here, and I have my elbow pinched. 
from here, I move his right, head this way here. Hip, shoulder hip, foot on the hip, and this leg goes clamp. And you swing that over, swing it, and I realign my spine and my left leg. Lift the hip, his hand's already here. Broken. And the whole time, I have his elbow. Because no matter how hard he pulls, it's going to be hard for him to pull it out. Okay? So I just need you guys to feed this. Look. Thumb down. Roll it right into that elbow pit and break his posture down right here. They're going to want to posture. Okay. Pull him down here. Here you go. I have never finished more arm bars than I have using this control from the closed door. This is absolutely golden once you learn how to manipulate it. Because what happens is, <coughs> once they realize this is a problem, they'll stay on that side. That, and here, you can begin to feed that right under that chin. And then you just dive underneath him. Okay. You may be able to sweep him, or maybe he'll posture up. And then you can do that, I guess, kind of a glorium from the bottom. I don't even know what that is, but I actually did this to the left the other day. So, the other day, yesterday. Okay. So, we're here. Alright, let's try this. So this right here, the great thing with his gi, it's all loose. He stays on this side, doesn't let me push him back through. Feed it right here. And look, it was beautiful. Bow and arrow to the top, hand with the far leg. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Feed it tight. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs>